If you like seeing movies on the big screen, and I mean the really big screen, then you know this name, IMAX. But what you might not know is we have a World's Fair to thank for bringing this company to life. At the 1964-65 New York World's Fair, there were some glimmers of our multimedia future, most notably from the IBM Pavilion. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the IBM Information Machine. But it was another fair that truly ushered in the age of multimedia. Held in celebration of Canada's centennial, the 1967 Montreal Expo brought large-scale films and multiple screen presentations to the masses, with over 100 media pieces as part of the Expo. The largest of these was In the Labyrinth, telling a contemporary version of the Minotaur legend of ancient Greece. Presented by the National Film Board of Canada in a five-story building with screens just as high, In the Labyrinth included the largest projected moving images widely seen in public. Three producers from the NFB brought Labyrinth to life. And one of them, renowned documentary filmmaker Roman Kreuter, along with a few other NFB filmmakers, saw a future in presenting larger-than-life, fully immersive experiences. So in August of 1967, even as the Expo was still operating, Roman and his partners founded what would become IMAX. Oh, and Roman's also the inspiration for The Force in Star Wars, but that's for another video. They become aware of some kind of uh, force or, or something behind this apparent mask. By the 1970 Expo in Osaka, Japan, the three filmmakers had perfected their single projector domed wall IMAX system for the Fujifilm Pavilion. It was Canada's National Film Board participating in the fair that led to the creation of the leading company for large screen movies around the world. The 1967 Montreal Expo was in a lot of ways the most successful fair of the mid 20th century. To learn more about this landmark fair, be sure to check out the books and resources linked below. And please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to learn more about the inventions, foods, and more that came from World's Fairs. Thanks for watching. Somebody walks up and you say, your number is 2187, isn't it? Boy, does that person really uh, smile.